Good morning everyone. Hope you're all doing really well this morning. It's the one and only, the original, no imitations accepted, Connor 500, professional gambler, on the morning of the 2000 guineas. The first classic of the year. There's five in total. First one in 1809 by a horse called Wizard with a jockey called Bill Clift, the first jockey ever to win all five of the classics. Nice bit of trivia for you there this morning that I've just looked up on Wikipedia 15 minutes ago. It's a big day today. We've got a double stake. One hot, basically, we've got a full day stake on the 2,000 guineas and we've got a full, full day stake elsewhere. If that's a bit much, if things are tight, lower your total stake altogether because I'm going to be free forever. So if you need to take a few months on tiny stakes to see if this is right for you, then that's a great idea. Another good idea is opening a separate betting account just for these bets. Open a separate betting account, just do tiny stakes, dip your feet in, and as you go on, you'll be able to see because this is the best way of doing it. It really is, it's the best system, it really is. But it, it might take a little bit of time, particularly after a rough patch, to really, to really realise that. We do have a charity competition finishing off for, the, for those that picked Hewick in the Bet365 Gold Cup last weekend. We're currently waiting on entries from G GT, Barry Brown, Sauze55, and we've had the first six entries in already. I do appreciate everyone who entered. I really, really do. I really do appreciate it. And particularly because I know it goes to charity and not to individual people. Why does it all go to charity? When I first started the channel, when I had 25 subscribers, I made a deal back then that 100% of the ad revenue would always go to charity. I had no idea about competitions back then. I never did. The, the competition idea didn't come to a much later date, about six months later. The, the current agreement now that we've got is 50% goes to the Laura Lynn Children's Hospice and 50% goes to the charity competition. Because I thought, why don't we do a competition so the viewers can get involved and have a pick as well? But, but, so that's why, that's why it is a charity competition and not just for, do you know what I mean? I just wanted to say that. Right, it was about this time, three years ago, 2019, that I got overpaid 2,200 from William Hills in the Slough High Street William Hill shop. It's closed now. What had happened is, I walked in, I'd had 100 each way on a bit, it was a big handicap, I'm sure of it, they were, would have been five each way because hills weren't six each way in shop back then. They didn't do it back then. Hills going six each way and seven each way in shop, relatively new. It's come up over the last couple of years. They weren't doing it. They weren't doing it back then. But anyway, I've gone in. I've had a hundred each way on a ten to one shot. I've gone up to the counter. There's a few young girls behind the counter, and they've looked at the bet and they've gone, "Yep, yeah, that's that's two thousand two hundred." They've obviously calculated it all as win. Now, they, this was the time when William Hill started bringing iPads out to verify any bet that pays over 500. Any bet that pays over 500 has got to be sent on the iPad off to another shop. They brought that out about early 2019. So they've sent it off to another shop, and I thought, well, there's no way it's going to get through this, because I realised the mistake already. I obviously didn't say anything. Anyway, they've come back from the other shop and they're like, yeah, that's absolutely fine. And they've paid it onto the card because I was using a card. It was one of those Monzos or Stalin or Revolut. It's just one of those, they were fantastic for betting. A lot of shops don't take them anymore. Hills, as of late last year, they don't take these prepayment cards, but they were fantastic for betting. Anyway, I've gone home that night thinking, lovely jubbly, I've been overpaid. I've got a phone call from the William Hill area manager fantastic bloke, he's never done anything out of line. We did have each other's numbers, but that was, anyway, he's phoned me up and he said, look, we, Connor, we know about what's happened with the overpayment. You know you ain't gonna get away with that. 
You're going to have to come back in the shop tomorrow. We'll pay you the correct amount. There's nothing I can do. I've seen you've been overpaid. I'm like, look, fair enough. It hasn't come into the bank yet anyway. It's been paid into it on the card. It hasn't come in. I'll come back into the shop tomorrow. I'll get paid the correct amount. 100 each way. 1.4. 1.4. So I've gone in the next day. Slough High Street Hills. I've gone in. And they've paid me the correct amount onto the card. So they've now paid the correct amount on the Sunday onto the card. I've left it at that. Next morning, Monday morning, I've looked at my bank. Both of the amounts are in there. Both the initial overpayments in there and the correct amount as well is in there. So they've paid the 2.2 from the Saturday and they've paid the 1.4 that they brought me back in for on the Sunday. I've straight away moved all the money out of that Monzo and into my main account, Lloyd's, straight away. I thought, clear that account out because they're going to come chasing for it. Yeah, they did. I think it a couple of weeks later or something, I, they started chasing it. The account got closed down, the little Monzo account. But they never, and then after a couple of months, I never heard about it again. But yeah, it was a 2,200 overpayment, William Hills in Slough Labrooks uh, about this time in 2019. Lovely jubbly it was, fantastic. Um, but we move on to today. We've got the 2,000 guineas today. Right, okay, the way I've done it, I've done it as a 10 each way lucky 15. We've got a standard stereotypical 25 each way doubles. And then we've got a full day stake on this 2,000 guineas. Best race of the day is the 150 Newmarket. It really is. It's the punting team race. But what, I mean, there's not too many more runners than 16. You're getting six each way with a lot of firms. You're getting bog in a lot of shops. Why do I talk about shops more when there's more people using online accounts? It's force of habit because the thing is, all the serious punters, they've all had their accounts closed down. And shops, the shops are a different game to online accounts because you can run out of online accounts. You won't massively run out of shops if you're going to, if you're going to travel around. It, I'll put it this way. I'll put it... I would rather... I've just, yeah, it's just you get, you just get banned very quickly on online accounts, to be honest. I, that's just basically it, and that's, so you end up uh, just a lot easier. But if you're using an online account, it's, it's still the best race of the day. Just because I'm saying for shop punters doesn't mean online accounts, it's not as good. It's in fact better. But if you've got a few runners and stuff, you, you send, you're not going to lose any accounts. You, do you know what I mean? I hope, yeah. But um, anyway, right, 150 is by far the best race, so I've got it as a four star. Strike red. Okay, I'm going to hold this all up here first so you can see it. Strike red, nine to one. I've got it as the horse of the day. Strike red. I've got horse of the day, strike red, nine to one in the 150 new market. I think it's a fantastic bet. Ideal race opportunity. There is a couple of firms only paying five. Sky better paying seven. I won't take that. I do use Sky bet for statistics, but I don't take the, the outrageous extra places. But I advise you to. That's the whole reason I use Sky, because I'm trying to get some customers to use them. But then you've got 365 are ultra solid now. 365 were quite weak due, during 2021 Connor 500, but they're a solid firm. Strike Red 9 to 1 is the first horse. We've then got Royal Patronage 28 to 1, a big price in this 2000 guineas, a massive one. 340 Newmarket, Royal Patronage. 28 to 1. We've then got Marie's Rock 15 to 2 in the 350 at Punches Down. So that's 10 minutes after Marie's Rock 15 to 2 in the 350 at Punches Down. We're finishing off the lucky 15. He's a hardy bloke. He's a hardy bloke 10 to 1 in the free in the sorry in the 550 at Punches Down. That's the each way lucky 15. That's ultra solid. I'm more than happy with that. The 25 each way doubles, so that's four lots of each way doubles. 150 new market, strike red, nine to one. And final song, I've gone for final song, we'll give it a go, 18 to one. They're the first two. In the second one, in the 530 punches down, we've got He's a Hardy Bloke again, 10 to one. And we've gone Aaron's Day at 20 to one. So all that is, is four lots of each way doubles. Strike red onto he's a hardy bloke. Final song, sorry, start that again. Strike red onto he's a hardy bloke. 
Strike Red onto Aaron's Day, final song onto He's a Hardy Bloke, final song onto Aaron's Day. So that's 25 each way doubles. We got those and we got the lucky 15. Takes it up to 500 so far. The full stake that I've got on the 2,000 guineas, we're not going double stake tomorrow for the 1,000 guineas, just to clarify, because there's not as much that I can stick it in with. So tomorrow we'll just go mostly on the 1,000 with our usual day's stake. But today we had a, a bit of mix and match in. Royal Patronage, 28 to 1 again. I've got that with a big stake. I think if we're going to have a chance on anything, we'll have a go on this. 150 each way on that. And light infantry all day long. Light infantry all day long at 40s. Fantastic. I could have done that in the lucky, maybe. That was tight between what I was going to choose for either. But if you look, that takes it up to 1,000, which is a double stake day. Thanks so much for watching. I haven't explained a couple of things as well as I wanted to on this video. I'll be honest with you, what happened? I started doing a video about 20 minutes ago. I got about 12 minutes in, I was about 12 minutes in flying, and then the phone crashed. It's a nightmare, when you have to redo a video, you end up you're just saying the same thing you've already said. Um, and yeah, but, it, but yeah. With what I was trying to say with the shop punting, it's just because it's very easy to run out of online accounts. And when you do, it's just, well, if you walk into a shop that you've never been to, get some, it don't really, it's not the same. And, and if you bet like really filthy each way bets, like in this 150, it's not the same as if you do it on an online account. Because once that online account's gone, it's gone forever. You'll never get that online account back. But with shops, it's a bit different. It just is. I haven't explained anything as well as I wanted to today, but I am not redoing another video. I'm not doing another 12 minutes. Um, I need to get the video out as well. I was up early today. I've been up since half six. I've been for a jog. I haven't really, but I have gone and got some breakfast from the bakery. Hope you have a lovely day. Um, we've, we're likely to have our statistics meeting later. Tonight should be a statistics meeting, but I might hold off until the Connor 500 on Sunday tomorrow. So the statistics meeting will either be tonight or it'll be tomorrow. Hope you'll have the loveliest of lovely day. 2,000 guineas day. It's a big day. Plus we're finishing off the Punchestown Festival. Hope you've all had a lovely week and whatever you're doing today, take care of yourself. I'll see you later.